Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome to another cooking show with us fun From grannies. <laughs> and Mango Mania. It is Mango Mania. Well, it's not the season yet, but we're still trying to get rid of our ones from last season. Well, yeah, we had so many. We had so many. It was like, oh my God. And what we did with them is we dehydrated them and then froze them. And they are so good. They are excellent. They're like little mango chips when they come out of the freezer. And they're really crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. So they're really good for like road trips, you know, or if you're biking or <laughs> walking or, you know, you want to driving in your car with a snack. <laughs> yeah. So, but we have quite a few left and we thought maybe we should rehydrate some of them and um like cook with them make a pie or i don't know you're gonna make something right? well we got a dinner party to go up to tonight right and i don't want to come empty-handed so yeah. i thought well how's about if i make a pie crust mm -hmm. and cook it have a, a pre-cooked pie crust and if i thicken up the mangoes with some cornstarch and, and sure. uh, sugar then uh, let it set and get uh solidified or that you know that set Thick enough. Yeah. Then we throw it into the pie and add some whipping cream on top and voila. Easy peasy. Yes. It I is. think you definitely should do that. <laughs> and with that, I'm just going to say if you like this video, subscribe, share, like, because everybody's doing it. And then come on over to Patreon. I help because out. we've got all kinds of fun stuff over there. Mm -hmm. And it really helps to support our channel. So Patreon forward slash Susan and Donna, all one word. Okay, and with that, I will let her take over and cook and see. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> thank you, Donna. We have started here with the, uh, I've reconstituted some of the uh, mangoes. Donna did last night after we soaked them overnight in some water. You know, about, about this much, eh? So, um, right now what I'm doing, you can see, is getting them heated up. They need to be warm so that when you put the thickening stuff in it, that it cooks down and, and becomes, well, like a pudding kind of thing. This is a really easy thing to do if you're ever stuck with it. Something you gotta go out, something quick, this is it. Anyhow, so I'm gonna show it to you. I had one of you ladies complain, or guys complain, that um, you didn't get to see what was going on in here, but unfortunately, I only have the one camera and I don't have one of those things that go overhead. I mean, if I had something like that, then I could have one of the cameras pointing down on this and then the other camera pointing here. But um, yeah, that, uh, that, that could be in our future. We just never know. But anyhow, here it is. This is what it looks like. I don't want to burn my hands. I've got these oven mitts. It's going to take, take a little while to get them hot enough. Here. Oh, no, they're not nearly hot enough. If they're really hot, definitely burn your fingers. So, I got different kinds of mangoes in here because, look at, can you see in there? They're, hang on. I'm not, oh, hey, hey, that's really hot. Oh, well, I won't do that again. But anyhow, I'll use the other one. Kind of look in there. See, yeah, different kinds of mangoes. I had no idea that there's so many different types of mangoes. It's like apples. You have all different kinds of, varieties of apples well it's the same with mangoes and some of them are way sweeter than the others and some of them are way slimier than the others but they're so good okay while that's doing this getting hot enough what I'm gonna do I can't bring the camera here because like I said I don't have one over here so I have my little container and I'm gonna put I have cornstarch that's how we thicken it up with cornstarch, but oh, you can use uh, no cornstarch. You can't use cornstarch in, in in like savories and stews or anything like that. You use it in fruits. Well, anyhow, something like that doesn't matter. So what we'll do is open this. Oh, these twist ties, I just hate them. Oh, anyhow, I think I'll put about. This isn't, this is like a tablespoon. My measuring spoons are over there, so I don't want this to burn, I'm gonna turn it down. Anyhow, so I'm gonna put some cornstarch in this container. I don't think I'll use a spoon, I think I'll just go like this. I don't know how much, fuck. My 
just had the gleaming lady here too. Now it's all over the place. Make sure she doesn't see. Okay, so now I'm going to add water to it. This is how much I have in there. See, it's not a whole heck of a lot. I'd say maybe two tablespoons. Okay, now I'm going to put some water in. Not too much water, or else it won't take an hour, right? So then it's, ooh, oh, oh, nice catch. Yeah. Okay, let's shake it. I think you want to make sure the lid's on really good. Now, this one doesn't seem to be on as good as I was hoping, but I'll shake it gently. Yeah. Okay. Well, this isn't turning out exactly as I planned, but look, it did, it did mix. I don't know why this is leaking all over the floor. Is it got a hole in it or something? Maybe that's not the right lid. It's really important to have the right lid for the container, or you'll have what's all over my floor, which is cornstarch and water mixed with the floor. So um, now what I'm gonna do is pour this in here, not all at once, because I don't want a lump. And it's gonna thicken it up a little bit. Put some in, because if I put too much in, but this will be like glue. You won't even get your teeth through it. It'll be like, I don't know. No bueno. So then I just kind of let this thicken for a little while. Oh, that's thick. Oh, and it's thickening too. Like I said, if I had that camera over here, you'd be able to see it, but this is way too hot for me to pick up and show you now. And I get it. I understand the cooking show is supposed to be able to see what we're cooking, not just, you know, see me, but um it's just the way it is, and that's the way it's going to be until things change. But it's thickening up nicely. Let's make it really not too thick, but this thick. Now I'll let that, see, it's empty. I'll let that boil for a little while. Let it boil for a little while, but not too much. And, um, it's really easy. And then after this, I'm going to make a pie crust. And then I'll just say I've been cooking over a hot stove all day. Okay, you need to see this now. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. But anyhow, see it's thickening up? I know, it doesn't look any different than it did before, but it's thicker, trust me. And if I, if I put too much heat underneath it, then I'll have some of it that's stuck to the bottom and it goes really black. And no a going out. We get down here, we get vendors that come through the street selling bananas, watermelons, pineapple. But I think this one is for oh, it's for the trapeze that are in town. This is like the circus, not with the animals, but with the guys, and they got clowns and everything like that. So that's just what he was advertising. But they come through the streets, it's so cool. One time one time a guy came through and he's selling sandals, screaming out at the top of his lungs, sandals, or shade cloth, or, or well, you just name it. One time the guy was selling avocados. And he, what, the bread guy comes around, you hear his music, the ice cream man comes around, the water guy comes around, I mean, like, it's just, and the vegetable guy comes around, it's great. He just, he just whoosh, out the window and they stop and you go out there and you, Buy whatever you need, fresh off the truck, and there you go. Oh, these are really starting to thicken up. I might, I don't think I put too much in, but do you want, do you want to see? I'll bring you over here, but I don't know if I'm going to get you back in the same position, but I'll try. Hang on. Come with me. Okay. Oh, where's that camera? There we are. See? It's thickened. I think that's okay. And then it'll just thicken for a little while. Sorry about that. It'll just look thicken for a little while. And then I'm going to put it, when it cools, and we put it into a plastic container uh, or a glass container, doesn't matter. And uh, put it in the fridge till it gets thick. And then you put it into the pie shells 
and you just let it set and then you put whipped cream on top but this would also be oh i better turn this off this would also be really good on ice cream i didn't put any sugar in it maybe i should have done that oh it's sweet enough anyhow you can always put whipped cream on top but it'll be sweet enough so I think I can say that this is done. Go figure, that's how easy it is. So no excuses for not bringing dessert, do you hear me? You get off your lazy butt and you make some. You can do this with blueberries, you can do this with raspberries, anything, really. I wouldn't do it with watermelon. Go figure. Okay, so I'm going to let you go here, and I'm going to go make the pie crust and go from there. All right? Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I know you like the cooking shows, and um, it, it shows because I get quite a few views on, on the cooking shows. So we're going to focus a little bit more on that. So we are going to, I don't know how, but we're going to try to get one of those camera things that will down so you can see what's going on and do it a little bit more visual for you so we'll see what happens who knows I mean who knows maybe you guys want to send me one well that would just that'd be great but I'm not asking for one I'm hoping for one <laughs> all right all is well and um thank you for watching see you later darling see you at the table mm -mm, good <laughs>